As the college football season gets underway, researchers at Purdue are collecting important data related to concussions. Tonight, RTV6 reporter Chance Walser takes you inside a Purdue practice as a team of scientists and players work together to make the game safer. At Purdue's football practice, this hit and this hit and all these hits are important for game planning and for research. And we'll see how things develop when they move into team drills. Crammed in the back corner of the practice complex is a team of scientists monitoring the power of every hit these players take. How, you ask? They've installed a sensor pad inside the helmets that relay information to this computer. Our original question from the very beginning was, was why do some kids get concussions and some don't? One of the things that we've been doing for a long time is studying high school players. And one of the things that we wanted to do here was, was move up to the collegiate ranks and see if there's a change when you add in players that are bigger, stronger, better skilled. The afternoon did not deliver any major hits for researchers. Most of them are about 30 Gs. Um, so that's pretty low. It's a nice low number. But all of them could eventually lead to safer equipment and fewer concussions. We don't have the answer yet, but but certainly we're contributing, I think, to uh, to the total picture of concussion. Yeah. Chance Walser, RTV6. Researchers will work to collect data for the remainder of Purdue's season. The Boilermakers open up at Cincinnati on Saturday.